Good day and welcome one and all back to Elden Ring on Playframe and side quest good news. I have an idea. It might not be a good idea. I didn't say that. Don't put words in my mouth. But no, I do have an idea of sorts. So I've been thinking all weekend about that stupid furnace thing and why didn't none of my damage stuff work. And I don't really still know why none of my damage stuff worked, but I did have a thought that... This is actually probably a pretty stupid idea, but we're going to try it because... Worst case, it's pretty funny. So I was thinking, like, all right... If I can't just do damage to it conventionally, then this has got to be, like, one of those puzzle enemies, right? Like, you got to find the solution. There's a object in the world you're supposed to interact with, or there's a specific item you're supposed to use, or you're supposed to... I don't know. Something of that sort. And it is somewhat conspicuous that this furnace golem is, like, right up next to a cliff that you can conveniently jump up to and be almost at, like, eye level with the top of the furnace, like the opening. That is conspicuous. Now... What to do from there, I can't think of a whole lot of ideas, like you can't really attack it from up there super good, it still has lots of attacks of its own, and also it's going to be pretty hard to reach, even in a best case scenario. Jumping in it seems like a bad idea. But what if you were to throw something? What if you were to throw some pots? of some sort. We have a pretty wide variety of pots, of hefty pots now, that we can make. I should keep talking while I'm a little further away and not in direct line of sight. We have several kinds of pots we can make now, uh, including like hefty pots, hefty fire pots, hefty furnace pots, and that, that honestly feels like maybe if any of these are the right answer, that feels like it's probably the right one. Shame I can't make that particular one with the stuff I have right now. But we got hefty lightning pots and hefty red lightning pots. We can make that. We've got Hefty fly pots, hefty freezing pots, hefty volcano pot. I made one of those already. None of these might work. This might be just a dead end. I might even, maybe I'll throw in an oil pot in there too, just for funsies. I don't know. This is the only idea I can come up with though. I didn't see any other items for picking up out here, riding around. I didn't see other like things to interact with that would change things. It could be that there is some other trick to this, but literally the only idea I have that even sounds almost convincing as a good idea, which is not the same as a good idea, but similar if you squint, is throwing a pot in it. So I've made several kinds of pots, and we're going to try throwing some in it. And then when it doesn't work, It'll at least be kind of funny, and hey, we tried. Help! Sorry, Torrent. Um... I don't know if you're close enough to... Okay. <laughs> we'll have to watch out for that. On our next attempt. Noted. He can do a little hop and swipe. Like you trying to dust that top shelf you can barely reach in your house. So let's grab the runes. It's not really that many in the grand scheme, but just as a matter of principle. These hefty pots do take longer to throw, which is a little scarier. Is there a better place I can lure you to stand? Like, there's more... If you could come into, like, this nook over here, I feel like you... Oh, okay. I feel like reach would be easier. I should read some messages. That might... Try precious item and then regret. Um, why regret, though? The fact that it says try item is actually encouraging. That makes me think I might be onto something here. Ow. Sorry, Torrent.
Oh boy. It's a lot of fire. A lot of fire. A lot of fire. A lot of fire. Now. Hmm. Can I throw pots from horseback? I guess I haven't tried. That might be safer than trying to dismount and do it. Before getting clobbered. Or incinerated. Or both. I'm going to get you. Maybe not today, because this might be nothing, but... Eventually... I'm not super optimistic for the freezing pot working, just since we're throwing it into a... We're literally throwing a snowball into hell, and I don't think... I don't know, there's a saying about the chances of that working somewhere. But, um... Throwing more fire in there also seems like why. Oil could be something. There being something called literally a furnace pot, though, is conspicuous, and that could be something. Maybe that's a good reason to, like, ride around Altus long enough to grab the items we need to make that and try. Okay. Heave! Um, well... There's 136 damage done, so just do that about 500 more times, and we got him! I have a regular, just, Giant's Flame Fire Pot. Yeah, let me just try a regular, non-hefty pot first to see if that's anything. Man, you gotta give me a window here, alright? Come on. Okay, that's technically a window, thanks. Heave! Eh, slightly more. Oil! Heave! That's nothing. Um, hefty fire. Catch! Okay, hefty fire does more. That's something I found maybe the answer. He Help! I also have a hefty volcano pot. Maybe that's something. Still gonna take a lot of pots, though. It's gonna hurt. Catch! That also did a pretty decent amount. Help! Help! Can't believe I'm alive. I need a lot more pots. Or I need to figure out how to make a furnace one. Torrent Rod. We found a solution, though, and I'm thrilled about it. Retreat. Tactical retreat. Flee. This has been important reconnaissance. I'm a little amazed that actually works. There's actually probably a way smarter... Hmm. Hang on. What if... The message did say item. I was just wondering, it's like, well, what if we tried, like... Did we try spells? Should I try spells? Should I just try throwing a rock? I should try throwing a rock. It's probably not gonna do as much damage, but I am now... Real curious about what happens if I just throw a rock. Hang on. Okay, you're here now. What if I just... Threw rocks. Did that do anything? Didn't seem to do a lot. Maybe I missed. Okay, now that's doing about like 700 a pop, which is still not nearly enough. It's not nearly as much as throwing big fire pots. Okay. Reconnaissance part two is over. Tactical retreat again. Well. I'm a little bit amazed that that's actually the solution. Thrilled to have found... Like, even if there's a better solution than that, I'm thrilled to have found any solution, because that's way more effective than anything I tried last week. I feel like I can maybe make a total of... 
four, maybe five hefty pot throwables total. So it definitely needs to be the, the most effective kind. To have a hope of whittling it down, I'd really, like, prefer to not have to make more while on the run. That seems like a recipe for failure. So, like, okay. To make these, I'm good. I can make, all right, four of these total. Awesome. That's not going to defeat it. I need... Wow, it takes Furnace Visage to make each one of these hefty furnace pots as well as the Ember of Mesmer, mainly found in Scoutu Altus. I got a lot more to do down here, but I am very fixated on this problem right now. Let's just do a little ride around. A little... A little roaming. Out and about. Just to see if these things are... See, there's like, there's another one just right up there. Just to see if these things are just like... Growing on trees, basically. Well, if nothing else, there's another cross to get to. And a camp we could maybe rob. And I see something very glowing in red. No, that's just somebody's torch thing, but hey! That's the thing! That's the thing! We just need stuff like that, on the ground. Do you guys have any more of that around the camp? You do! Perfect, I can make one! That's thrilling, and also... Someone's here? Hi. I'm only passing through, but... Hello. Um. Not the talkative sort? Okay, well. I'm taking this then. Carved words coalesce. I abandon here the flesh of my body. Last chance. Fine. If I can find one more of those things just on the floor somewhere. I wonder. If I rest here. Is that the kind of consumable that will respawn? Or do I need to? Yeah, that's a bloodstain. Do I need to? Will... Yeah. All right, I have enough to make two of that thing now, which might be even more effective. Exciting. Let's leave. I don't actually want to wander around here too much. Yet. Yeah, let's go back here. I'm feeling optimistic. Especially given... At least one of the materials for this is very rare. You know this has got to be good. I will make two. I will use one first. Before using both. And then the rest of these will just be hefty fire... Right? Hefty fire pots? Yes. Yes? Yes. I think they did do better numbers than Volcano Pot did. Also, I can't make more of those right now, so... This it is. No, no. No, no. Let's start... with you. And then... these. Also, while I'm in here... Uh, did we get something new? I feel like we did. Now, at the very least, we can just read this. Craftable item prepared using a capacious cracked pot imbued with the hex of a furnace. Throw at an enemy to create a whirlwind of flame. 
The furnace's flame burns away both body and soul. When impurity is thus expunged, one calls it cleansing. Okay. I'm a little nervous using such a rare item, but... It's for a good cause. It's the rarest kind of fire pot thing I can make. If this doesn't do the trick, I don't know what will. Come on, you. Walk over here. Can I hide back here? Avoid all your nonsense. If so... Yeesh. Nice. This means I can come back here and craft more should I need to. This is it. This is the solution right here. So long... Uh... Help! Ow. Oh boy. Yikes. Big fire! Catch! That did like 4,000. That's awesome. Run! Yeah, that did like 40,000, I think. I hope. Does this work? Nope, not if I'm that close. Nope, okay, 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 okay. This is it. Right? Okay. Get in there! Yes! That put a good dent in it. Poor choice, poor choice, poor choice. It's fine. We're fine. Nope, no, 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 no. Ow! Darn it. Not what I meant to do. It's fine. I had a feeling I was going to do that at least once. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go on. Ouch. If I run all close, that's fine. Fire! That doesn't do as much, but it's a way cheaper resource, so I can definitely make that work. Whew, okay. Quickly. How can I not? Oh, I can. Item craft. Fast. Yeah. This is going to work. Did that interrupt it? Not enough. Keep going. Okay, I think that second throw didn't even hit. Ooh, it did stop some of the fire from flying out, though. Is it burning less right now? Help. Come on. Nice and close. Huh. Nice. Yeah, that interrupts your nonsense. That's great. And then kills you. Ah, success. That feels good to have done. And boy, I'm glad that was the solution, because I had literally no other ideas. <laughs> Enhances attacks of spirits in mixed physic. Oh my. A crystal tear formed slowly over the ages, where the scattered sap of the shadow tree pools deep within the furnace golems. Can be mixed with the flask of wondrous physic, the resulting concoction temporarily increases the attack power of spirits. Love that. Very cool. Whew! Well. That feels good to have done. I don't think there's anything else up here to grab, but while I can explore it without being chased by fire, let's do that, because I, in my panic, might have missed something interesting before.
I don't think so, but just to be safe. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't really look like. I wonder how you get over there. Probably like a cave or something. Well, that feels good to have sorted out. Now I can focus on new problems and dangers. Huzzah! Hmm. Here's a way we can jump down, but I feel like I'd... I literally have the grace fire down there. I don't have to... I don't have to do that nonsense. And we can just take that off of the map. I think that actually does cover everything that was up here on the Karo's Hidden Grave level. Not to say I haven't possibly missed something, just... I didn't spot anything else in my time up here that looked like something left to do. So yeah, why don't we just head on down there? Actually... Hmm. So we came down this way originally, or maybe over here, I forget which, and there's a ghost flame dragon right around here somewhere. And it looks like if we went through here, we could maybe go underneath and get to this part. There's also this away leading up to all this, scary, and uh, like up this away leading to who knows what. Given this one's actually a dead end of sorts, let's actually start with that one, if possible. Let's go here first. And while here, since I was too excited and forgot to do it earlier... Yes, please. Better. Okay. And let's also get these off the hotbar and swap that back to this. Okay, we're ready. Okay. I love all the colorful flowers on this southern coast so much. What is over there? Hello, goats. These large gravestones made up of lots of smaller ones are pretty cool. I'm trying to remember if there was anywhere in the lands between that had these big gravestones with the sort of teardrop hole in the center of them. I don't remember. Just trying to see if there's anything like recognizably interesting in the carvings on the uh, tombstones and ruins themselves, but like I saw a bull head thing up top, but. Hmm. No connections popping to mind just yet. Right, y'all. They do sputter out after they fight. Yeah, good. Don't gotta fight them, just gotta avoid them. Yeah. 
and avoid them carefully because one of those things shredded me last week. It does feel conspicuous to me that the only other place we've seen those was in... I think the Shifra River area. Which is where we were also seeing those, like, ancient warriors, or however they called. A kind of more, like, tribal-looking bunch that had sort of, like, the big horn headdresses on. Seems to worship the uh, ancient uh, deer, moose creatures. You know the ones. Snipe you very good with arrows. <laughs> Consistently. Leave me alone. Worms. Worms. What am I seeing up there? Oh, it's a troll throwing pots. Nostalgic. And dangerous, please stop. Please, please stop. Please quit. Maybe lose your balance? Oh, you did. Awesome, thank you. Come on. There you go. Nope. Ah, oh, come on. That was my opportunity. Yeesh. Give me a second. Hang on. Aha! Oh, boy. Wasn't ready for that one. Boy, you don't stagger easy, huh? There we go. Yay! Could have used that five minutes ago. This is cool. How do these structures work before, these larger ones? Like... This definitely wasn't how they were built and configured originally. Like, are these... I mean, the stairs are here, so... It's, like, kind of tilting down this way now. Is it just sort of sinking? Kind of looks like the terrain sort of crumbling away into the ocean. Trying to figure out what the structure was originally. I'm gonna get attacked. This feels too big and wide open. Thank you. No attack. Hooray. Well. Where are we on this now? Okay, wow, we've covered a lot of ground already. Probably missed a lot of stuff already. I'm gonna put a marker up here because I feel like I'm not sure I looked up there yet. I might have started seeing jars thrown at me and gotten distracted immediately. That YouTube's compression has been having a time with these locations and their flower fields. I 
I know it doesn't help, but I assure you that what I am looking at is gorgeous. Dragon, maybe? Because this is just too big. This is... Um... Hi. You know, I was expecting to get, to get attacked out here. Because this is, again, very wide open. This feels like the sort of place a dragon would swoop in. You are not what I expected. Hmm. Maybe. Oh, goodness. It's a lot of you sneaking up. Boy, that's also a little underwhelming. Fired probably to do great, but. Hmm. Still expecting something big. Hadn't noticed the hole in the center. The, oh, we're going down there. That's where we'll get attacked and die. Okay. I gotcha. Now we can kind of see a little more of the structure. Neat. There's so many layers to this map, it's awesome. A lot of slimes everywhere. Nice. Eternal sleep grease and drawstring eternal sleep grease. So, better sleep grease items. A recording of crafting techniques left by a disciple who pursued the teachings of the saint of sleep. Yet, what seemed a gentle sleep at first ripened into velvet. Neat. Probably uses deep purple lilies. Hmm. It's kind of hard to fathom now, like, Elden Ring was already one of the biggest games. <laughs> Period. And now it has been so enormously expanded, like, a playthrough, a full playthrough of Elden Ring. Also with the DLC added on. Enormous now. What a gigantic game. Not now, Slimes. I'm... platforming. It's a very long way down. Where's my next jump? That'll work. Too many slimes out here. Blue sparkles are nice, though. Yep, boss room. All right. Can't wait. Yoink. Uh, careful. There you go. Made it. Alive. That looks pretty bottomless. Let's not jump in there. Whew. Where are we? 
the fissure. Fitting. Okay. Seems like a jump you can't do. Yeah. This is a pretty conspicuous wall, too, actually. Like, it's like really solid looking and has a unique seal on it. Examine seal. Sealed and obscured by Mikola. Ah. Cool. Neat. All right, well, no boss fight, but in a way, that's kind of a relief. A future problem to look forward to. Cool. Let's go back up here and at least check this little spot first, and then... Also up here, if we can get up here. You know they're hiding something up here. Found a fissure, though, and that's... something. I can get up here. Okay, there's a lightning orb ball sprite. Go on. Go on. Am I sneaking up on you? It's not like I can target you. Shoot at me, I dare ya. I'm not just gonna stand out there and let you shoot me. You can't make me. When I do that, it'll be by accident, thank you very much. So some commenters have mentioned, and I, I only think of it now just because I realize, oh, it's night, um, that there are certain, I'm guessing, NPC encounters that will only happen at certain times of day, which is interesting. I think that's new. Uh, and I appreciate how vague y'all have been about that. Like, you didn't tell me the answer of like, hey, this person will only be here at this place at this time. Be sure to go there. You were just saying, hey... You just gave me, like, the vague hint. Very much appreciated. Thanks for the, uh, discretion there. Yeah. It's not a lot of places to get cover from this one. Go on. Yeah. Fine, I'm running around you. All that, I guess, just to say thanks for being uh, subtle with it, and also I'll try going to some places at night. I guess the kinds of places that I might encounter an NPC. Yipes, that's a long way. <laughs> nice. More of these. Eternal Sleep Pot. That I'm probably even more likely to use than a weapon grease. In most cases, especially with sleep, because I barely use them at all, but I'm assuming that, like, once the effect fires, if you hit the enemy one more time by accident, they'll wake back up. Maybe I shouldn't just assume that, but that seems like it's how it would work. Seems like the pot is the easier, uh, way to get that effect working if you need it. Okay. It's 
real tricky holding a map of this space in my head. I feel like there's definitely nooks and crannies everywhere that I am failing to see. Where am I even now? Okay. Oh, this is how you get down to this beach. Ooh. Extra good shiny. Nice. Well, we got hands, so there's that. Hey, birds. They are definitely hiding something else further down that beach, though. Wait. Shinies? No. Definitely not stopping to fight all the hands. One of them is fine. Multiple gets annoying real fast. Did I miss anything in here? Doesn't seem like it. Which probably means yes. But what are you going to do? Let's check the beach. I do love that as, as thorough as I'm trying to be, and as slow as it feels like I am progressing through this DLC, which I don't have a problem with, but I am still amused by the fact that despite that, um, feels like every episode is, uh, like I'm seeing at least one comment of like, hey, you missed this whole thing. <laughs> no. Thank you, I'm good. I'm good. Do you have anything I can steal? If not, I'm going to leave. And if you do have something, then I'm going to steal it and then leave. I don't see anything to steal. Kind of surprises me. Makes me worry that I actually have to fight you to get you to drop something. Maybe later. Don't mind me. Just want to see what's further along the beach. Love this shallow little, uh... <laughs> shallow water tide going out, coming in. Kind of little stretch to ride your horse through. That's very cool. Oh, yeah. Seeing, like, the water. Like, coming in with little waves. I see you there. None of you are quite subtle enough. I do see you. Nice try. Darned hands. If I'm not mistaken, this is, yeah, this is, um, how one might get in here, and, uh, Boy, I am nervous to go in here. Finger Ruins of Rhea. Yipes. Very, very ominous down here.
Well... Yet another huge space to explore. At least one that's kind of closed in, if nothing else. Is it still night? It is still night. Here, let me pop around to a couple of spots and see if there's anything different happening since it's nighttime. Before we wrap up. Um, is it still night? I can't tell. Yes. Not seeing anything different here. You haven't seen anything different, right? Warrior true. What is it that you need? I was just told I should go nothing. Um Let's try another spot where NPCs go sometimes, like here. Freya, have you moved from that spot at all? Even a little bit? No? What are you doing? In battle, you can be sure I'll hold my own. I'm believing you less and less every time I come back here and see you still in this spot. Nothing different looking here. Um... Here? Hello? Anyone? Do you have anything new to say, at least? Like just tarnished. What brings you here? I guess curiosity. Oh, yeah! I found a cross at the coast, if you want to know about it. Well, I am much obliged to think there was a cross left in such a faraway place, and the deep purple water lilies would be blooming there. This can only mean kindly Mikola has divested himself, even of that. His adoring other self. His blossom of slumber. Mm-hmm. Please go on. Righteous tarnished. What brings you here? Please? <sighs> what about you? Hey, I delivered that thing for you. Welcome. I like finding things. Right, I remember. Things bring... Yeah. Okay. Um. Nothing else new. Cool. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Where else? Teolie, you'll have something new for me, won't you? Or someone to talk to? Else? Here? No. So, uh, what can I help you with? You haven't seen anyone else out here, like at night, right? Maybe. Okay. Um. It's kind of most all the places I've been with NPCs. Um. We are all utterly captivated by kindly Mikula. It is what binds us together. Oh, right, I did meet that silent monk once. Um, who's that? Oh, that man is known as Dane. He's been in the service of Mikula the Kind longer than I. He might be solemn of cheer, but is a fierce warrior nevertheless. There's no cause for concern. Dane's reluctance to speak to you is no fault of your own. We've been acquainted for quite some time, but even I am yet to hear his voice. Perhaps one day. Huh. Well, guess we can go check on them. Dryleaf Dane. So, oh, forgot to grab this before. So, you don't talk much. Right. Anyway, um... I feel like one person had specified... Or mentioned the altar as a place of importance visited at night, but maybe that just means later or it was something that happened earlier. Not sure which. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know. Well, whatever the case. We've defeated a big furnace by throwing pots at it and... Hang on. Shiny. How'd I miss that before? We've also... Is another one? You kidding me? There's so many of them. Nice. We've also explored and found several great scary places to die in the future, so let's call it a day. I will see you all tomorrow for... I'm gonna have to decide. I could keep covering the beach, or we could start going in there. You know what? I'll figure it out before tomorrow. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you then. Goodbye!